Okay, hello everybody. This is something I haven't done in a while. Uh, today, we are looking at a space game. Uh, I can't remember the last time I played a space game. I think uh, last time I had a space game video up was with the old Oleet series that I was working on. That ended up falling through because well, I lost the data for everything. I didn't really feel like going back and re-downloading some of the old stuff and then cutting out the intro and then slapping it all together <laughs> again. I mean, I lost the, the save for that game anyway, so... Yeah, that kind of fell apart. Anyways, today we're looking at Pioneer. And Pioneer is a game, I think... Right, that Elite series that I was doing was where we finished. I was showing off a few more Elite likes at the end of that series. And Pioneer was one of them, but that was an older version of Pioneer. This is a very new version of Pioneer. This was just released at the beginning of February, actually. So, it's very, very, very new. Uh, there's a few things that have changed, a fair number of things that have changed, I should say. Uh, it's got a new HUD. The character creator works a little differently. And there's a bit more manual controls. Right? So uh, one of the nice things about this version is you can land in space stations manually. Previously, you could just fly into the middle of the space station and the tractor beam would grab you and take over but now you can do it manually it's fun i like it anyways uh i'm not particularly good at pioneer <laughs> uh, this is a game that uses newtonian physics so it is very hard to fly at least in the beginning you know it's got a huge learning curve but uh, to help out with that each ship has a uh, an autopilot but just leaving things up to the autopilot isn't particularly fun so uh, this playthrough I want to figure out how to fly manually <laughs> it's probably gonna end up with a lot of me crashing and dying but that's okay learning experience so anyways, a uh, new start, a new start, right? So we've got this nice new start menu. We can pick where we start up here in the drop-down box. We can start on Mars. We could start in uh, on New Hope and Epsilon Eridani. Or we can start in Bernard Star at uh, the resting space station. I tend to like this kind of hard start. When I started Olite, you might remember if there's anybody who watched that still out there, <laughs> I started as a miner in a mining ship. And mining ships in Olite don't have hyperdrives, they don't have any weapons, and they aren't particularly robust ships. And the Bernard Star start is quite similar. No hyperdrive. We start in a bus, a space bus, with only a hundred space bucks. And we have two hydrogen as cargo. It's not a great start, but not a terrible start. Honestly, it's probably my favorite. Uh, the Bernard Star system is a little bit harder to, to get around because there's a couple gas giants in there that make it hard to, to fly to. But, you know, it's something to learn, right? Learning experience. So, we're going to start at Bernard Star. Next, we need to adjust our crew. Right, so, before, in older versions of the Pioneer, we couldn't pick our character. We couldn't do our character creation before the game started. We had to start a game, and then we could pick. And even then, we could only pick the random version. Right? Just click the button over and over and over and over and over again 
see if something good comes up. Right. Oh. She looks interesting. And we we just find somebody that looked good. But now, right, we can use a, you know, a somewhat modern system <laughs> to, 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 to make a character. <laughs> she, she's looking kind of weird. You know, the random button does work all right, though. Right? And sometimes it gets kind of funny. Sometimes we get uh, decent characters, I suppose. That was okay. She looks like she's out of a Russian music video. Hmm. Who should we pick? Who should we go with? Oh, I should. I wish there was the back button on the randomizer. Huh. <laughs> this guy is looking kind of strange. He like. He, Okay, let's give him a let's give him a better shirt. <laughs> it's a suit, and a trench coat. Not really a whole lot of options for clothing, is there? Okay, sure. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Okay. This guy's good. Let's pick a new name. David Anderson. Leonardo Britz. Uh, Maurice? Maurice? No, he doesn't really look like a Maurice. Brian Bailey. Uh, no. Adam Parker? No. Hayashi. Hayashi Yamazaki. That's a weird name. Uh, Hayashi is a, is a Japanese last name. I don't think I've ever met someone with the first name of Hayashi. Yamazaki's also the last name. So that's a little weird. Gerhard Neubauer. Gerhard. Gerhard. Oh, I think... Okay. So, here we have our character. We have our guy, our pilot. This is Gerhard. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our ship. All right, so... The ship's name is the Lilu Distant... <laughs> We can manually edit it, or we can randomize it to the cocky chinnings. <laughs> I like these. Will discreet. King Frignant. <laughs> De Groot Fjors. <laughs> Some of these are pretty fun. The Vibrant Ride? Yeah, he's not a particularly vibrant ride. The Clever Euler? That's okay. Trotsky, <laughs> Titus, Stupefied Current, Deferent Goodall, Shunyuki Parasite, mm, The Jolly Lamar, that one was okay. Some of these are interesting names, but they don't really fit the space bus. Thirsty Benz, hmm. <laughs> Serene Williams. He reminds me of a tennis player. Upbeat Rahman. The Musing Galileo. That's that's a bit extravagant for a space bus. Zen Jackson. <laughs> and Ruffled Johnson. Okay. There we go. <laughs> the, un the Unruffled Johnson. There's our space bus name. This is good. Okay, I like this. And let's uh, go ahead and change our registration number to to uh, match the title or the name of our ship. The UJ, the Unruffled Johnson, 8090. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, we could we could make it sillier, but. Unruffled Johnson's good enough. Alright, so the Unruffled Johnson, we start at uh, resting in Bernard Star. And the last thing that changes, which with each start, 
is the flight log. And it's kind of a story for each start. But it doesn't matter what kind of character, what kind of crew, what kind of ship you're in. It just depends on the start. So, uh, for the Bernard Star start, this is our log. All right, so, after a long bureaucratic process, I finally got my ship back from the impound, but they had stripped her down to the bare metal to pay the debt they claimed I had. Not only did they take my favorite coffee brewer, those bastards also ripped out the hyperdrive, so I'm stuck in this system, unless I can sell whatever is left in the ship to finance a new drive. But as they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So even if I'm back at square one, I will think of this as an opportunity instead of a setback. A second chance, without coffee. By letting go of what I am, I will become what I might be. The world will turn aside and let me pass, as it does for those who know where they are going, and I am heading to the stars. He's got a pretty big, uh, big uh, idea of himself, this uh, Gerard. I think he's a little big for the space bus. <laughs> whatever, whatever. So, all right, let's get started. So here we go. We start the game. And here we are in resting. It's February. All right, we'll take a quick look. Pause, pause the action so we can look around a bit. All right, and here's our space bus. And it's weirdly looking here because I've stopped time and resting is a nice space station we zoom back in right here we are we got a couple different camera views we can look around in the cockpit but when time is stopped the cockpit sticks to the camera so we, we start time again we can look around but Otherwise, it's a sticky cockpit. That, that kind of throws me off. All right, so we can check out our personal information here. All right, the uh, Unruffled Johnson, piloted by Gerhard Neubauer. Check out how much uh, we got. All right, our cargo, our money, how many cabins we have, our fuel, what kind of missions we're running, other crew which I don't think crew really works in this version. And our flight log, right? We just read that. We can write a new one and save that, but at the moment we don't need to worry about it. All right, here's the communications menu. We can talk to the people at the station, refuel, pick up jobs, uh, buy commodities, look at ships. And we got a couple ships here, but we only have 100 space bucks. So it's not like we can buy any of these. I mean, look at the prices on these things. 80,000 space bucks, and I've got 100. Even after trade-in. Uh, space, my space bus is actually worth a fair amount of money, isn't it? All right. Transports. The Lodos. Lots of crew slots there. Passenger cabin capacity. 80 passengers. We could be a space tourist, a space cruise ship. The Lotus, of course, has got uh, cargo. We could load, load cargo on the Malabar, too, but eh. I mean, we can't do anything yet because we can't buy anything. The equipment menu where we could buy equipment if we had the money. Right, we can't buy propulsion, we can't buy any weapons. We could sell our radar, which would not be a good thing. We don't have any shields. We could sell our autopilot, which would give us enough money to buy a hyperdrive, but it would leave us without the autopilot. And that's a backup that I don't want to get rid of. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, by taking missions. All right, we can uh, get repairs here. We could paint the ship if we had money, but we only have a limited amount of money, so we don't really want to uh, spend it on 
frivolous paint jobs. I'm a space cops. Right, so, uh, the Solford Police Force of the Solar Federation. <laughs> yeah. So we are at Bernard Star. This is Bernard Star. It's part of the Solar Federation. Right, this blue area of space here. And, oh, I gotta admit, one of the things I like about Pioneer is just the size of the game. I mean, look at this. And here's here's our inhabited space. We got a bunch of different functions or factions, and this is independent factions, isn't it? The Morong, the Moro, the Moro, 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 Moro Marg, Moro Marg. Right, these are interested. And we get farther out, we start getting into unexplored space. Look how far out it goes. We're going. We keep on going. This is amazing. It's huge. Too huge. Let's go back to Bernard's star. All right, we can see the map. We start at uh, resting. Resting is orbiting impression, and impression is a uh, gas giant. It's got all these little moons, moonlets, orbiting in it. And some of these have uh, outposts on them. Like uh, Six Sense Spheres has Awakening, OPLI Awakening, Name and Form has Contemplation, Clinging, has Wisdom. Yeah, and then there are, are a few more stations here, uh, Serenity and Tranquility, both prisons. And then we could go over to Ignorance, which is a tiny little plan planet with uh, Ignorance. I thought there was a... Ah, uh, Ignorance is... I, was, I made a mistake. It's not Ignorance, but Formation. Formation is another small little planet, and it has uh, packs, OPLI packs on it. But we're over here, so this is where we start. Right, we get a somewhat simpler view of how it moves. So our first order of business is to make some money. How do we make money here? Well, we take jobs on the bulletin board. You have to be careful with the bulletin board because some of these... Right, we. It gives us the uh, the distance. We can't take those because we don't have we don't have a hyperdrive. But some of these can we can take. But in this point of time, I think the only thing we can do is go to this place on Pax. Pax is six days away at 3.05 AU. That's not too far. I'm a little worried about PAX, though. Uh, I have a bad experience at PAX. I've been having terrible experiences at PAX. It takes forever and a day to get there. And when you get there, all the landing pads are full. And nobody wants to leave. I don't like it. Anyways, right, we'll come back to this in a bit. All right. So, for now... Though I think that's enough. We'll come back and do a mission later on. But for now, that's it. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.